Good evening, everyone. I welcome you to today's webinar. My name is Juliet, also known as Crypto Queen. So I have on this call, leader Newton and Emmanuel, as amazing leaders that have been supporting our academy so far in our webinar. Today's class is brought to you by Crypto Queen Academy and Digital World Academy. Like we know, our major focus in our both academy is on capacity building, where we help individuals or youth who are interested in learning various type of skills, ranging from how to trade crypto, how to trade forest, and digital marketing. So in today's class, um, we'll be working us through on technical analysis. So like we know, um, technical analysis is one of the major knowledge anyone who is trading crypto needs to know in order to make good trade decision. Now your ability to understand how to use technical analysis correctly in your trade or in order to make good trade decision is very, very imperative. So it is something you cannot do without and is the most important knowledge anyone trading crypto or forex needs to know in order to make a profitable trading career in this space. Moving on. So, and if you do not know how to technically analyze the markets or how to use technical analysis correctly, then your chances of making a profitable trading are very, very slim. And that might be the reason why you'll be making a lot of losses or struggling to make a good profit in the market. So, but today I'm assuring you that you don't have to worry as you follow through all our topics in technical analysis because it is broken down in various parts. We will be walking you through on how to make sure that you get every knowledge that you need to know in technical analysis in order to make good decision. This topic ranges from candlestick anatomy, candlestick patterns, chart patterns, market structure, trend line, support and resistance, parallel channel, Elliott wave patterns, indicator risk management, trade management, market psychology, and what have you. All of these are values that we would be giving you for free. And since you will be getting all these values from Crypto Queen Academy and Digital World Academy for free, it will be nice that if you have not subscribed to our channel, that you look for, we are going to be dropping our channel page so that you can encourage us by subscribing to our channel and maybe encouraging us by liking most of our educational content that we post. So moving on, just um, before I hand over to our tutor today, I would like to briefly explain what technical analysis is. Technical analysis is the study of past price movements in order to make accurate decision of what the next market reaction may be. So you need the past price movements to make a decision around technical analysis. So technical analysis is about how we make accurate decision of what price may do next. So every part of technical analysis revolves around price action, just like we would be seen in the various aspects of technical analysis mentioned above. So you can't talk about technical analysis without talking about price action. So, um, Without wasting much of our time, I would like to introduce um, to us our today's tutor in the name of Newton. But for the purpose of this class, we have decided to take the classes, the topic at line step by step. So today we would be learning how to, uh, we'll, we'll be getting knowledge on candlestick anatomy. So maybe in our next topic, we would pick another topic. So. But this various topic, we have um, we have various leaders like in our academy that will be walking us through 
So we have broken down the topics in different chapters. We are some of our leaders that are well experienced can help us. So I did also forget to appreciate all our amazing leaders that has been supporting our academy. We want to recognize and appreciate all that you do. I want to say thank you for all that you do. Without you, uh, we wouldn't be this stage that we are. I want to pray that our good Lord will continue to um, bless you all for all that you do for us. So I would like to open the floor for uh, today's tutor that would be walking us through on uh, today's topic. Thank you. Mr. Newton. All right. All right, good evening, everyone, once again. Please, can you unshare your screen? Okay. Done. All right, good evening, once again. And it's an exciting moment for me to be here tonight to show you guys some few tricks on how this is done. All right, so before we get into business, I would just like to say um, some few, I just like to say some small, it's not going to be a motivation, but I just want to be very, very big and real. And this is me trying to be realistic. See, this is uh, the beginning to a technical analysis. And if anyone of us really wants to succeed, in this journey of trading, you need to pay attention to little things. Candlestick is one of the most underrated um, a part of technical analysis. A lot of people really don't pay attention to candlesticks. And believe me, candlesticks happens to be, in fact, the most important part of technical analysis. If honestly you understand what candlesticks tells you on the chart, trust me, you're 50% you're into getting your analysis right. So people really, really underrate that part of technical analysis. So tonight, I will just be straight. I'll be straight to the point. I'll hit the nail on the head. We won't talk too much. I'll show you different kind of candlesticks that we have, what, what it stands for, the language they interpret. And trust me, at your own leisure time, you go through them again. You try to master them. You go, go on your charts. You practice over and over and over times. I bet you it's it will begin to get clear, as in clearer, like everything on the chart will become more clear, like you begin to understand how these candlesticks operate, how they communicate with each other, the patterns they form, and how you can actually take advantage of it. So uh, permit me to share my screen so we can get into business. All right, so I hope you guys can actually see my screen. If you can see my screen, Please type in the chat box. Let me know you can hear me properly so we can start. Please let me know in the chat box if you can see my screen. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so um, what is or what are candlesticks? Like you see on my screen, this is what a candlestick looks like. This is what candlestick looks like. Okay, we have this body, okay, and we have these two. This too long tail you're seeing, it's called a shadow, okay? It's called, all, all of these have their use and what it represents. Now we have the real body of the candle. This is the real body of the candle. And these two lines called a shadow happens to be um, called, there's, there's, there's another name for it. It's called a wick, okay? Wick, we call it, that's W-I-C-K, wick, okay? So they, they, they represent the high and the low of the candle. Okay, that's the highest point a candle got to get to at a particular point, and the lowest point a candle gets to at a particular point. So we can say that the candle is bullish, which means that sorry, if if the if the close is above the open, what do I mean? This close, if it's above the open, okay. Now look at it from this angle. This is where the candle sticks. Let me use um, let me use annotation so you can actually understand better. Now, look at where I'm actually pointing. This is where a candle sticks open. This point here, okay, and this is where it closes. So if this closes above this open, 
we can actually say this candle is what is a bullish candle. Okay. And if the close is below this open, like in this case, this open is below this close, then it is called, it is, we believe it is what? It is a bearish candle. So we just have two major and basic, in fact, two major candles in the market. We just have, we have buy and sell. Okay. We have bull and bear. Okay. We have the bullish candle and we have the bearish candle. We have the blue and red candle. So depending on what color, you can actually customize your own candlesticks on the chart. We'll get to that. You can, you can, you can customize your own candles on the chart. Like in this case, I'll be using white and, and black. You know, the conventional one, you, you know, you normally see on the chart, you see red and what? And, and um, you see, um, yes, you see red and you see green and red. Okay, let's just use the green and red. Okay, whatever color you want to use, it, but just ensure that you're able to differentiate between what the, the bullish candle and the bearish candle. Okay, so this is what a candle stick looks like. Okay, so in this case, this is the bullish candle and this is the bearish candle. Okay, now what differentiates the bullish and the bearish candle? Simple. In the case of the bullish candle, market opens from this point. Look at this point. If you can see my screen here, from this point, and market closes here. Okay, now this two week here represents the shadow. Now we have the upper shadow and we have the lower shadow. Now this shadow means that this point, this point you're seeing from this point, from the time market opens to this point, this is the highest price got to at that point in time before price out to you know, step back gradually and then close at this point, okay? So now when they say high and low of the candle, high and low means the highest point the candle got to, that's a high, and the lowest point the candle gets to. It is very important that you understand how this candle operates because this will actually lead us into other aspects of this of candlesticks, you know, anatomy. All right. So now we've we've been able to spot where candle opens and where candle close and how far candle can actually get to. The, that's the highest point price can actually get to before it closes, and the lowest price can get to. This is the lowest point it can get to before what? Okay, when price opens. Now, in a simple form, let me let me give you another explanation. This is very important, okay? I'm going to really, really emphasize on this because I'm not coming, we'll not be coming back to it. All right, so now let's 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 say this candle opens here, okay? This candle opens here, and then price now went low, low, okay, and eventually then start to retrace it back and then went back up went back up went back up, went back up and then got to this point now this was where the candle opens so at that point in time when the candle opens this was the lowest price you know sometimes candle when price opens sorry when candles opens price will just drop you know we see price dropping retracing and so at, at a particular point in time and then later on you see price now begin to do what price will now begin to go up now so this was where price opened this was the lowest price price gone to this is the lower points price got to. And then price now went up, up, up this way. And then got to this point and then retrace it back and then come to close here. Now, whatever the, the what, what whatever is happening here will be better understand, uh, understood when we talk about um, time frames. Okay. So let's just assume now that. Okay, let me just quickly just tell you, it's very important that you know, so that whatever I'm explaining, you know, we have time frames. Okay, now what is time frame? Time frame simply means the hour, okay, of the day you were on the chart. Okay, no, we have different segment of um, um, time frames. We have um, from five minutes, okay, to 15, okay, to 30, to 45, then to one hour. Four hour, eight hour, twelve hour, then twenty four. Okay, you can also customize. You can have two hour. You can have three, and so on and so forth. So let's just assume that we are we are interested in seeing what is going on with our candle stick every one hour on the chart. So we now decide to choose one hour time frame. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say now. You know, this time frame just simply means the particular time you're interested in seeing the chart. Because we have various times, 24 hours, we even have one week, we have a month. So depending on what time frame you want to see, you want to look at the chart. So let's assume that we're looking at the chart on one hour time frame. So let's say now, now what, what this means that every candle, this candle will open 
and close every one hour interval. So let's assume that we are this this guy open there. It was this is what's what's the time now? This is um okay. Let's say okay, this is 8:22. Let's say by eight o'clock was when this candle opened. Okay. Now candle opens by eight o'clock and then went this low and then blah 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 and then went up. Okay, and then came back here. And so we expect to see that this candle will close here at exactly 9 p.m. on the dots. Okay, so that this is what is going on here. This is actually what's happening here. Open, close, highest point, lowest point, and then the next candle opens. So let's assume the first candle that opened was actually a bullish candle and then closes here. And then the next candle that will open will not be what? Was now a bearish candle. So instead of a bearish, that candle coming to open here, a bearish candle opens from here. So you can see that a bullish candle opens here, closes here, then bearish candle what opens here and then closes here. And then we all know that when a candle opens, sometimes price can start to go in its direction or price might you know, decide to just go this way and then start to go back now. So in the case of a bearish candle, this this or this point was the highest point price got to before price now starts what to retrace, retrace, retrace then come down to this point, okay, and then come back here to close. Okay, so this is just what candlestick anatomy looks like. Anatomy means we're trying to look at every part, every segment of what? Of the candle, all right? So let's proceed. Now, we've been able to know where candle opens and where candle closes, highest and the lowest point of the candle. So let's, let us move to some um, candle types we might actually see on the chart. Sometimes you might actually not see a big candle like this. You might see something like this, okay? So this just tells us that we have, we have both long and short candles, okay? We have long and short candles. So sometimes we see a long candle in this form, okay? Or perhaps sometimes we see just very small candle like this, okay? All of them represent the same thing. All of them open, close, or open here and close here, highest point, lowest point, okay? Highest and lowest point, all right? So, so this is this is what actually happens on the types of candlesticks you might actually come across in the chart because by the time we enter the real time, you know, live chart, you might be seeing some tiny, tiny candles and you might be wondering, are these other ones, are these other, uh, are these ones still candlesticks? Okay, so let us move on to the shadow, okay? These are the shadow. Of the candle remember what i said here this this guy here okay these are the, actually the shadow of the candle okay so you can see how long this shadow is and how short this is or how long this is and how short this is okay so these are called long upper shadow and this is called long lower shadow okay long and upper shadow All right, so now what does this mean? Okay, what does this mean? Okay, so the candle with this short shadow, okay, indicate that most of the trading action was confirmed near open and what? And close price. Now, let's assume in this case, okay, candles opened. This, this is a bearish candle, okay? Normally, candle, bearish candle opens from here, okay, and then closes here. Okay, so this short pass simply just tells us that most of the trading activities actually happened within this place. Why do we say so? If you watch, when it can open here, this guy went this far up, this long, and then came back here, and then we have the body of the candles. Okay, then we have the body of the candle, and then price now drops this small, and then close here. Okay, so the same thing with what? With this bullish guy here. This is a bullish candle, and we have the long part here, and then we have what? We have the short. But so opposite of what happens there is actually what happens here. Okay. So all of this scenario are what will be seen or we paying attention to by the time we get on, on the chart. Okay. Now, so now we've been able to, we now, we, we now know what is called, what a candle anatomy is and what a candle looks like. We've been able to dissect all part of the candle. We say the, the candle have, we have, the candle have, the candle stick, sorry, is made up of the what, the real body, and then we have the, the shadows, okay? So we 
that the upper shadow and the what and the lower shadow and the upper shadow represents what the high points and the lower shadow represents the low points okay low high and low which means lowest point price go to highest point price go to price opened price close price open price close lowest point highest point so now let's let's let, let's move on to what the candlesticks okay so we have several types of candlestick but we'll be dealing with the common ones that you always 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 come across on the charts the ones that you always come across on the charts okay so the first about golfing bar or bearish and golfing bearish and golfing candle sorry i have a bad handwriting so the engulfing candle as it when it fully engulfs the previous candle. This guy, look at this guy very well critically. This guy is a very big guy, he's long. Okay. And this guy is what? This guy is okay and this guy is a big boy now what happened here becomes bearish engulfing in the sense that this guy was able to engulf engulf means like to cover up to you pass swallow okay swallow now see how this guy see how this guy completely swallow both look at these high points and look at this look he, this guy completely completely swallow this other guy and remember that in this case we are using white sorry white and your line is breaking please color and then Are you there? bearish color my line is breaking how about now yes can you hear me can we can hear, can hear you yeah, we stopped hearing you at a point. Your line was breaking. Yes, but we can hear you now. Uh, sorry, um, it's still breaking. Line is breaking. Still breaking. Again. Can you guys hear me now? Yes, we can hear yes, you. Yes, yes, we can hear you now. Sorry, sorry, it's just, it's just my network. Sorry, I'm sure it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Okay, now, so this is what a bearish engulfing pattern looks like. Okay, anytime you see a red candle, in this case, a, see, let me just, let's just use, okay, let me show you something so that you don't get confused. Okay, let me just go to my chart and show you something. All right, look at my chart here. Okay, so in this case, we have the green and the red. So in this case, the green is what the bullish candle, and the red is the, um, the bearish candle. This is what you always come by on every chart, okay, except you want to customize your own. I can actually customize this chart. So let's assume, just, just bear in mind. So in, in, in my presentation here, I have what white and what and black. So in this, in this, so this white just represents the green on my chart, okay okay the green on my chart and this um black represent the red i can go to the chart and as well change it to white and black so that it doesn't really confuse us so by the time we get onto the chart you understand but of course you know that the white here is what's the bullish candle and then the red is what's the bearish candle you can use any color you can customize your own color but for the sake of this class we'll be using white and white and black so now this black this white guy represent the bullish candle and this black guy represent a bearish candle so for this to for for we to actually confirm that this is a bearish engulfing candle okay this is remember we're talking about candlestick patterns okay so which means that we are looking at the patterns patterns means you, of course we all know what patterns means okay we're looking at patterns that candle forms okay so that it will help us to quickly 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 you know make a decision okay this guy is forming the bearish engulfing candle so this is what it means Okay, this, is, this is what it means okay so all right so now um so what is a bearish engulfing candle now i'm going to say something when we talk about candlesticks and the study of candlesticks what we're trying to say is 
We're trying to look at what we're trying to look at the candles, these candles, the actions, okay, the patterns they form, what they represent, okay, and how we can interpret what they represent, okay, to suit our analysis at that point in time. We need to know the meaning of what the candles. But there's an information the candle is trying to disseminate. So we actually should be able to read that information so that we'll be able to take a very, very good decision that will probably, you know, trading is a game of probability, but sometimes we are always you know, very close to being right. You understand? If we can actually interpret the information that we see on the chart. So when a candle forms patterns or when candles form patterns, we should be able to interpret those patterns and then know the meaning of what that pattern is trying to tell us. Now, remember that in the trading world, we only have two contenders. We have the buyers as against the sellers, or perhaps the sellers against the buyers, okay? If the market is not buying, the market is selling, okay? So two things, those, one of those two would always happen, okay? So which, is, which means that this, it, it's always a battle between the buyers and what, and the sellers. So if we're able to read candlestick patterns, it simply just tells us that, okay, oh, be, with this pattern forming on this chart, I think the buyers are, are actually in control. They are trying to gain control from the sellers. So my focus should be what? My focus should be if this candle completely forms, which means that the buyers are gaining control, it simply means that the market will buy. So let me pay more attention. So this is this is what I'm trying to say. Pay paying attention to the information the candlesticks are trying to tell us, so we can interpret that to whatever analysis that we already have, you know, as a conference. So now this guy here is telling us that okay, sellers, uh, buyers were once in control. This is the buyer is there. This is a bullish candle. They were once in control, but at some point the sellers say, "Oh yeah, you don't do. We are taking over." Okay. And this candle completely engulfs or engulfs this English. Maybe I'll follow you. Sorry about that. Okay. Engulfs this guy. That's the completely, completely means. You see, the candle opens a bearish candle. You know, remember a bearish candle, bearish candle opens and closes. So the, in this case, this bearish guy opens it and then closes it and it completely engulfs this guy. It tells you that, oh, okay, sellers are in control. So I should start. I should start. Sell. Now let us go to a scenario here. What I am talking about. I hope you guys can hear me. We can hear you, but uh, it's not stable, but we can hear you now. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's my, it's the network. I'm sorry. It's the network. Now, let, let me explain what I was trying to talk about on that bearish and golfing kind of pattern. Look at this chart. Look at, look at this place. You see, buyers were in control. All of, all of the candles you are, you are seeing here is what are all bullish candles. So this tells you that, okay, the buyers are actually in control. So it got to this point here, okay? It got this, this point. Now, observe something. You, you can see how we have different kinds of words, kinds of can, uh, uh, bullish candles, okay? But they are all words. They are all white candles. So in, in this form, in this case, they are all words. They are all bullish candles. So the candle keeps going up, movement keeps going up, movement keeps going up, going up, going up, and then eventually this candle shows. Now watch, this candle couldn't push up. The next candle that forms, you know, after this candle, another bullish candle forms, okay? After this candle, another one forms, another one forms, another one forms, another one forms, and this forms. Now the next one that formed could not what? Try to go up, and this shadow, upper shadow, Okay, but could it maintain that what? Could it maintain that stand? And then what? All of a sudden, this guy starts what? Start to collapse. Start to collapse. Start to collapse. Okay. So in this case, this tells us that okay, oh, sellers now in the market now, and if they are fully, fully, fully gain control because of what? Of this 
patterns. This can see patterns that forms here. Okay, so what does this tell us? This just tells us that, oh man, it is time for me to exit my long trade. Let's say I've been in this trade going up. So it is time for me to what to exit this long, take my profit at this point, and then look for what? Look for a sell opportunity because of these patterns that actually formed here. Okay. I tell you, man, if you pay attention to what this candle tells you in the chart, come on. You see, you see, you see this pattern alone. It's a very powerful pattern. You spot them on art and frames. It gives you a very, very precise direction. When you read meaning to it and you're able to use it as confidence to your other trading um plans that you have already, trust me, you're good to go. So please Your life is breaking. everyone here tonight to please pay more attention to candlesticks all of the different candlesticks what is happening is this still breaking now go ahead but your line is not stable i'm sorry my name is still breaking still breaking do about it i don't know what's really happening but let me i'll just keep okay guys just give me like, give me some seconds. Let me change position and see if we are going to have a, a better reception in here. Okay. All right. So, like I said, this just tells us that oh, sellers are in control. Let me let me exit my long position or my buy position, and let me see if I can jump in on a sell position, you know, to take advantage of what the market has to offer. So that is all about bearish engulfing candle. That is all about bearish engulfing candle. So the next one we are going to move on to is the bullish engulfing candle. You see, I'm taking my time to explain this thing because by the time you get all of these concepts right, trust me, you're good to go. So there's no point in trying to rush it. No, we can take all the time to take on explaining these things. No, we couldn't hear you, but maybe it's better now. Just talk, let's see if it's better now. Just hold on, let me try. I don't know what's wrong with it. Very soon now. Next, we're talking about is what the bullish, the bullish engulfing candle or the bullish engulfing bar. I normally refer to it as the bullish engulfing candle. Now, the bullish engulfing candle consists of two candles, one and two. The first one is a small body, like I said at the initial time, and the other one what is what the big body is the body, and this is the candle that engulfs what this small candle. Okay, the bigger candle always engulfs the what the small candle. So in this case, this long bullish candle, this white candle engulfs what this small um red candle. Now, see, sometimes it doesn't come, you might not actually see this pattern, you might see something like this. Okay, you might see something like this. Okay. Something like this, then you now see something like this, and that can be funny. Okay. I hope you guys understand what I try to do. I try to paint this place as black, okay, and this guy here as white, okay. So it might not necessarily be a small candle like this, it might be a big candle like this, okay. It might even be something like this. So we're going on a live chat, so all of these things are the things I'm going to show you guys there, okay, as time goes by, okay. So just pay attention to this big candle, okay, engulfing this small candle. So that's what is more important. However, 
no matter what kind of candle forms, just know that a bullish candle, a bullish engulfing pattern has formed when a bullish candle, okay, a white or green candle engulfs what a red or black candle. Okay, so this is what a bullish engulfing pattern looks like. Uh, Market has, market has been what selling all the way, selling all the way down, selling all the way down, selling all the way down. And eventually we spot this pattern here. We spot this pattern. Now see how this guy engulfs his okay. Now look at okay, just pay attention to this candle. It, it you see it was it wasn't small as the other, you know, okay, but this guy is big, but but as big as this guy is, this black candle, this white guy was still able to what? Still able to what? To engulf it. So this is more like a bullish, this is a bullish engulfing pattern. So this just tells us that, okay, buyers are in control. So it is time to look for what? It is time to exit this sell trade and then log in on this what? On this buy trade. And you see how, this guy keeps going up and up and up. So please jot these patterns down. Okay. So by the time we go on the chart and I begin to show you how they look on the chart, please jot it down, pay attention. Also, remember when we started our intro class, we talked about our trading journal. If honestly you want to go far in this trading business, get a journal. Okay, like tonight now, what I do is, what I do for me, what I did was when I started, you know, this whole thing, I got a journal. I started, you know, I, I if, if you see, the, I drew all of these things out of my journal, you know, and then I wrote, I wrote a short note on them what they drew. Okay, so sometimes if I'm on the chart, I'm looking out for these things, for these guys, and I really don't remember. I, I just quickly refer to my journal. And then you see, it helps me, you know, just quickly remember. And then until you know i practice over and over and over again and i got used to it okay so that is one way that can actually help you keep journal of all your trades now we've talked about bearish and golfing candle and we've talked about bullish and golfing candle so the next we want to talk about is what is the doji doji candlestick pattern okay doji when you talk about the doji candlestick pattern now this is what a doji looks like this is what a doji looks like this guy here see how small and tiny this guy is but very powerful if you spot this guy at the right place on the chart it can mean a whole lot it can mean money for you this guy this doji okay now what does this guy represent let me bring it out this is what this guy looks like okay like we say, a candle always have its opening and closes price, okay? And it always have what is highest and lowest points, okay? Which is represented by a shadow or we also, we also call it weak. Now, in this case of the doji, the doji opens, okay? Sorry, the doji closes where it opens from, okay? Candle opens here. Maybe when the candle opened, the candle came down this low and then eventually went up high and then came back down. Now it came back to close at the spot where it opens. That can actually mean a lot. It's actually a very, very important candle you know, that forms. What it tells us that the market opens and closes at the same price. So, and this means that there is equality and indecision in the market. Okay, that's what it means. At, at that point in time, eh, that the buyers and the sellers are really, 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 really aggressive. They are dragging the market. Okay, this guy, the buyer say, Omo, we are the one in control. The seller said, no, you guys are not going away. So we always refer to this doji as an indecisive candle. Why do we say it's an indecisive candle? Because at that point in time, there's indecision. Okay, the market couldn't go up, 
or down. It's just dancing. It goes tries to go up. No, it comes back down. You know, so like that, like that. So it just tells us, oh, sellers and buyers are actually drag. They're actually dragging. Okay. So it can actually mean a lot. By the time we begin to apply it to the market, and I tell you the implications of what this guy can do, you understand what I'm trying to say. But just take note that a doji is an indecisive candle. It opens where it closes, price closes where it opens from. Okay. And it signifies that buyers and sellers are currently unable to make a decision because there's what? There's a serious fight between the both of them. Okay. So hence it is referred to us as indecisive candle. So that's simply what a doji does. Okay. That's what it means. So that's what a doji is. Now let us go to a scenario here. Okay. Look, look at this scenario. Buyers were in the market, they were selling, they were buying, 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 buying. You are happy if you're in this kind of trade, ah, you'll be happy. My trade is going up. I've been able to secure more peeps, blah, 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 blah. Oh, my profit is actually booming. And at this point, you are on the chart, you're not spot this guy here. Omo, you should panic. Okay. Now, two things can actually happen here. Okay. This guy. I can be like this for maybe like let's say you are actually on the charts one hour time frame okay at that point in time so this guy now open this guy opens you now spot this guy it can mean two things okay so what you should do at that point in time is you should not be in a hurry to what to close your tree excuse me please let me I just took my light all right so you shouldn't be in a hurry to close a trade at that point in time. What you should do is you would wait. Since we refer Doji, we refer to Doji as an indecisive candle. So what you want to do, you want to wait. You want to see who is actually going to win between the sellers and the buyers. Okay. And the only time you can actually get to know who is going to, who is going to win between the sellers and the buyers is after this candle opens and then closes. Remember I said, if you are on the chart on the one hour time frame, which means that at every one hour a new candle forms, so you have to wait for this candle to finish forming as open and close, and then a new candle opens. So the next candle that opens, the direction where that candle goes is the person that wins, either the buyer or the seller. In this case, who wins? Can somebody tell me in this case who wins? Who won in this case? Can someone tell me from the audience in this case who won in this case? Can you guys the hear seller. me? The seller, the, the seller. seller. Thank you very much. The seller won. Yes, the seller yes, won. Yes, the seller won. Yeah, the seller won. Because, so, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you so. Thank you so much. We saw the direction the seller, the the, the candles, you know, the next candle forms. Okay. So this is how you can actually use this guy. Don't worry. When we get go in deeper into our technical analysis, I will tell you. I will tell you a lot of things. Or a lot of role this guy plays in the market. This guy is as small as it is, it's actually very powerful. So you want to you might want to pay attention you know, to this guy. Okay. So that is what actually a doji is. And that's that's the kind of effect this guy can actually powerful effect in the market. This guy can have powerful effect on the market. Sorry. Okay. Now the next we want to move on to is what is the dragonfly doji. A dragonfly doji. Okay. The dragonfly doji is actually a bullish candlestick pattern. Okay. It's actually a bullish candlestick pattern. It also opens where it closes from. Okay. But usually they have this T shape. Wait, let me pick up this nice stuff. They, they, they normally have this T shape. And this can actually represent a lot. Now, this long lower T shows that there are there is what there's resistance from the buyers and the, the attempt was to push the market up. Okay. The sellers were actually in control. But all of a sudden, you know, when this guy was actually, you know, forming this long T was going down, was going down, better the, the buyers just stepped in and then they pushed the market back up. You know, like the market actually opened there. Okay. In this case, this is actually a bearish candle. So the candle was actually going down, was going down, was going down. But the buyers were so aggressive that they had to push the market back up here. And then the market, this guy now, the market now what's close here. This tells you that the, this guy, the market is about to 
go, the trend is about to go bullish. Market is about to go serious by because of what the intensity, you know, the intensity the buyers apply there. You know, see that long back push. See, sometimes in this case, you might just see, you might just see something like this. You say you can't do it. I'll be for me. I'll be for me, for me, for me, for me, for me, for me, for me. Yeah. Kind of before me, like this, or gradually a, a, a bearish candle. All of a sudden, you just see that the candle will just push back. The whole of this body will just push back, push back, push back, push back, and come here and come back to the place it opens. And then the whole of this guy, as it is pushing back, it is forming long tail. As it pushes back, it pushes back, it's pushing back, it's forming long tail. Eventually, it will not form this thing. So when you see cases like that, it tells you that, excuse me. It tells you that oh the seller the buyers are in oh and the force the aggressive force that this guy you know came in with it simply means that there might be volatility in the buy volatility so you might want to actually prepare for that you know so this is what a dragonfly means trust me these candlesticks types and patterns we are talking about are the things the common ones you always see on the chart they always appear everywhere 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 so if you're able to familiarize yourself with all of these candles um sticks and patterns uh, trust me you're good to go you're good to go now look at this scenario just look at this scenario see how price is dropping sellers were really really aggressive so it's dropping now look at the first move here look at what this guy did here look at that first push bah! okay boom as i tell you that one buy that in the market too now so when you see scenarios like this when you see scenarios like this you see price will range for some time that's to tell you that buyers are really in the market the presence of the buyers in the market and they are pushing in what they are pushing in liquidity okay it suggests that the force of supply and demand are nearing a balance and the direction of the market may be in a major turning point and that's exactly what happened here this is this is a this was just a major turning point because of this what this aggressive move back up and then you now see price now range range more than the next thing you see boom, to the upside so the price will just shoot up boom for because there's enough liquidity that has been accumulated here okay it's accumulated here it's accumulation and next thing you now see is just see price boom just shoot up to the, the upside so this is just there's no magic it's just paying attention to little little things as little as this guy is as little as he, it is it's as powerful as anything people tend to ignore all of these things they are just you know they are so Particular about all of the concept that you know, they, 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 whereby they omit these little little informations and these are the things these are the most important things that one should actually pay attention to you know these are the moments. so this is we're going to stop here on the candlesticks and patterns the next time we'll be continuing with uh, we we'll continue what the great stone but let's go to the chart let's go on the chart sorry let's go on the chart and spot the things that we've discussed okay let's see let's do that together let's go to each other and do that together so let's let, let it be more it's going to be more like interactive kind of stuff so that we, we really know that we 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 understood or if i actually made any sense okay so let's go to the chat let's use good chat for instance okay let's let's make it an interactive section this is a good chat yes good okay and okay yes now look at what i'm talking about there can you guys see um, one second let me just put this guy off here yeah. yeah. okay, yeah. now can you guys see this please can you see this my chart here can you see where i'm actually marking please let's make it an interactive session can you guys unmute yes yeah, okay. yes we can see okay. it. Okay. let's make it interactive now these are the time frames i was referring to okay <laughs> These are the time frames. Now look at it from here. We have one minute, we have five minutes, we have 15, we have 30 minutes, but five minutes, we have one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, one day, one week, and one month, and so on and so forth. So let's so I am actually interested in what in looking at this chart on what on the four hour time frame. Okay. Now four hour time frame means that every four hour, okay, every four hour, each of these candle forms. So each of these candle, let me let me um let me enlarge this guy. Let me make it look big. So that you guys understand what I'm saying. Let me make this guy look big. Now, what I am saying here is 
every candle that you're seeing in each of these candles, eh, all of them are what four four hours. They form for every four hours. After four hours, another one forms. After four hours, another one forms. After four hours, another one forms. So this is how this candle forms. Okay. Now let us see the things that we've learned to date. Okay, let us see the things that we learned. If if those are the things that are actually because this is a real, this is a life chart. Okay, this is a life chart. Now we talked about candlestick anatomy. Right? We talk about candlestick anatomy. And we say a candlestick always have a body. No, first of all, we, we say we have, we have two major types of candle, right? We have the bullish and we have what? The bearish. Now, on this life chart, my bearish candle represents what? The green candle. And my bullish, sorry, my the bullish blue, candle represents blue. the green candle and my bearish represents the red candle. Okay? Now, mm -hmm. look at it. We talked about the upper shadow and what the lower shadow, which is also referred to as, as the weak. And this upper and lower shadow represents the points at which price got to at that particular you know, hour. So in this case, on the four hour, this was the highest point. Um, this was the, sorry, let me get let me get my annotation. This was the highest point got price got to, and this was the lowest point price was get to before uh, price came back to what to close so price actually opened here because this is a bearish candle and then what and then read what and then close here but in the case of a bearish candle price opens here and then closes here okay opens and close then we have what we have high and we have low okay so this is candlestick anatomy so this is how candlesticks you know this is how it looks like and how it functions. Now, let us now go into the patterns. Now, on this pattern, okay, let me go back. Let me make this guy more accommodating. Let me let me close this guy. Okay, I'm use for this time. Now, let us look at this chart. Now, the first candle we talked about is what? A bearish engulfing candle. Isn't that? Now, can someone tell me where I can locate a bearish engulfing candle here? There are plenty of them. Can someone show me on the chart? Can someone just show us a bearish and golfing candle in the chart? Uh, just tell me where to place uh, my cursor. Just tell me. See my cursor. Tell me where to uh, move. Next, 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 uh, like, okay. Around the, uh, uh, around the green, the green candle, and red, 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 and the big, dearest candle. Coming down. I got the other one. Is that the dearest candle? Huh? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. Okay, so why you see the why you see the the rally of the of the green candle to the upside, the yeah. recent resistance level, you see there's, yeah. a, there's a very 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 big uh, uh, bullish candlestick there. Then you see a little tiny a uh, little little uh, red candles too. Before you see the third one, which is the red, that engulf every other the two the two other red candles. That is a look at my candle. screen. Hold on, look at my screen. Are you talking about yes. this place? Yes, yes, the, the, third, the third one. Yeah, exactly. all right. You're right. Yeah, this is a bearish engulfing candle. Can, can anyone of can anyone also locate any other one? Because I can see plenty of them. And there's the one before the green, before the green ones, uh, before the green one. Which is this? Uh, the long, like the one I have, the long week, a little, a little bold body, uh, red body. All right, let's just let's just save time. Let's save time. Let's just save time. Okay, so let's just save time. All right, thank you so much, Mister. Thank you so much. You actually did well. Yeah. So this is actually a bearish and buffing candle. One. This is a bearish and buffing candle. Okay. Um, which one again? We have plenty of them. We have plenty of them. Okay, so that that will be all for bearish and golfing candle. So let us go to bullish and golfing candle. Okay, so this is this is a bullish and golfing candle here. 
all right um this is a bullish engulfing candle here this is a bullish engulfing candle here this is a bullish engulfing candle here okay and this is as well a bullish engulfing candle here okay so they are just very simple by the time you just know them and you pay attention to them you get them so the, the after the bullish engulfing candle we also talked about what we talked about the doji yes this one is going to be someone is going to tell me if someone is actually going to tell me where a doji is can anybody tell me where a doji is can anybody spot the doji on the chart okay so can you please uh the yes, doji is around uh, around uh, the resistance where you pointed the last one uh you see resistance here. yes yes the one the tiny one with long wick this one yes thank you yeah that, that's a doji thank you so much this is a doji yeah you're right thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much for that thank you so much for that um um remember this is another doji here let me let me just expand my stuff my screen so that so by the time we mark okay so this is a doji this is a doji i hope you guys can see the size of the candles we have small candles and big candles remember this is a doji it doesn't matter the size of the candle. Sometimes it's just for you to be able to spot. Um, you understand? Spots what that country represents and the patterns they form. Okay, so, so we move on towards to dragonfly. Let's let's see if we can actually locate dragonfly. Let's see if we can actually locate dragonfly. Uh, dragonfly really comes on chart. Let's see if we can locate dragonfly. Remember, dragonfly. This is what a dragonfly looks like. It looks like a T shape. So let's see if we can find one. So prepare your questions. By the time we identify these candles on the chart, then we'll take your questions. Dragonfly sometimes really comes on chart, but then uh, if we can if we can actually spot anyone we'll get to so meanwhile while we're looking for dragonfly let us well see if we also um let's see if we can as well identify okay we'll not talk about gravestone so i think where we where we stopped was was that um, dragonfly if i see anyone I would look at them. So you can actually ask your questions now, please. The ground is open for questions. If you have questions, uh, why I look for um, muting. I would like to um, um, take some questions in the chat. So before oh. those that raise their hands will ask. So thank you for the wonderful lecture. That was a great one. Thank you very, very much. So um, someone was asking, um, there's a question that said, what time frame i just want to although i have responded but i just want to respond so that others who could also pick from it so somebody asked what time frame is the best to um look at the candle stick uh when you are looking at the candlestick what is the best time frame to use so now like i said the time frame is relative it all depends on the type of trading style you are using a day trader, a scalper, and a swing position traders, they all look at the candlestick with a different views. If you are a scalper, you might be focusing on 15 minutes, um, five minutes, three minutes, less than um, a day view or four hours view. That's where your attention might be concentrating on. And whichever candlestick kind of that forms within those time frame are what you will be using to analyze the market. Now, another question, but however, 
um, the best to look at is the higher time frame. But like I said, it's relative. It all depends on the style of trading that you are adopting. So someone that is a day trader might, might need to focus on four hours, one day, and maybe three days. So someone that is, that is trading, a swing trader, a swing trader might be concentrating on four hours, one day, three days, um, higher time frame. So um, it all depends on the style of trade. Position trader is not looking at one day view. So a position trader is looking at one week, three days, one month. Or, be, or higher than that. So it all depends on your style of trading. So it's it's it, the, it's going to it's going to help you to know the best time frame that you are going to use. But if you are trading within a day, for a day trader, you need to for concentrate on fifteen minutes, four hours, one day. I think this time frame are the best to use in analyzing. But for a better uh, accurate for a better accurate analysis on one day view. Um, I would I would advise you use four hours and one day to look at a candlestick um, anatomy. Now another thing, someone asks, which of the time frame does the candle form? The candle forms in all the time frame, whether you are trading three minutes, whether you are trading thirty minutes, whether you are trading one hour. The candle forms because each of those candles represents a. a the time that you are looking at. If you're on 15 minutes time frame, each of the candle represents 15 minutes. If you're on three minutes, it represents each of the candle you are looking at the chart represent that time. If you're on one hour, each of the candle represents that hour. So I hope I'm able to answer these questions to advantage. Then the last one I want to take from the chat, someone asks what is liquidity? Basically we could hear most traders say, um, there's liquidity at this level, there's liquidity at that level, and this um, um, this trade has picked liquidity. So basically what they refer is, when you talk about liquidity in the chart is, they are the price levels where you could see a lot of buying orders and selling orders. So basically when that orders are picked, the liquidity has been picked and you usually see a price reversal, you usually see a reversal in the market. Whenever a major liquidity is, is peaked, so you will see this long week that rejected that price from moving further from where that liquidity is peaked. So that's what we refer to as liquidity in the market. So you, you can see people come, you can come across people talking about liquidity has been peaked here. So when they talk about that, that's exactly what they mean. At that level, you have a lot of, it, it could either be at the lower or higher level. It could either be for the buyers or sellers. So basically, these are levels where you see this liquidity uh, happens. So I hope I'm able to answer. If I'm able to answer these questions, can I get in the chat? You're able to answer. Then if you need more clarification, then you can ask too. So um, we would be allowing Everest Eze to ask his or her question. So, but then, um, Lida Newton, I don't know if you have any contributions around this explanation I've given so far. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I would, I would add to that. Thank you so much, Queen. Well, someone is actually asking, someone is raising, two people are actually raising their hands. Mr. Justice, can you actually unmute and ask your questions before? I, I think Evaris has to ask before Justice because um, her hand was up before Justice. Oh, oh, Evaris. Evaris is a yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Please unmute yourself and ask your question. Okay. Hello? Yeah, yes, yeah. Please. Yes, uh, actually, it's no question I want to answer, but when you are asking uh, to dictate the dodgy, I wanted to, you know, to dictate the dodgy, then that's why I raised up my hands. But uh, honestly, I want to recommend that you are doing a very great job and I'm really enjoying it, okay? Because uh, I'm, 
Yes, I've been a, in, in trade, although I've, I've, I'm trading for indices mostly. But what take me some of, what take my cash sometimes it is the candlestick, the price action. Sometimes I try to ignore it. I do follow the chart pattern. But right now, I understand that I will not ignore the candlestick anymore. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. And so, um, who else is raising their hands up? Who else is raising their hands up? Somebody asked, what's, what's the significance of the time frame? Well, let me have towards um, uh, Crypto Queen said earlier. All right, you know, like we are actually on our journey on the technical um, analysis. So I would want you to ask exercise question. Now, let me tell you something. Time frame, time frame, time frame, time frame have a major impact and a lot of roles to play. But it all depends on what kind of trader you are you tend to be or you are okay so somebody that are billions please can you can you ask a question if you have any can you admit yourself mr everest please can you mute sorry yourself? i um i didn't know how i muted myself earlier so somebody was asking liquidity levels so i was trying to show the person an example of liquidity level let, you see, this is not the time for them. Sounds we are asking for liquidity levels, or we are not even anywhere close to that. I think we want to take this thing um, step by step so that we don't confuse some of the people who are actually very used to, who are new to this. I, mean, I know, I know, some of us are actually not um, new to this, but a lot of a lot of us are actually new. So let's let's take this thing bit by bit. Let's just ask our questions. And you know, like within what we've just learned tonight, so that we can better understand it. Maybe next time we can you know proceed. Um Gaga Billions, please can you can you ask can you admit to say when you ask and ask your questions? Gaga billions, please Gaga Billions. Gaga Billions, can you can you hear us? Okay, well, um um, sorry, no one is asking. So I just saw it. I saw something on the chat. Somebody said, what's the significance of the time frame? Now, like I said, the time frame depends on what kind of trader you are. But by the time we get to, there's a point in our, um, in our technical okay. journey. Now, can I ask my question, please? I'm okay, back. ask your question, please. I will, ask your question. Uh, sorry, I was muted, so I don't know why. So I just got omitted now. Okay. All right, so my question is that uh, what are the candle to expect in a reversal process? Right? Like, uh, what are the candle usually to be to, to know that this uh, this 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 trend, as it's just said already, is about to reverse? Like, which of the candle patterns you will be expecting in that le level of like a uh, normal, uh, how would I call it, uh, in level of interest? I understand what you're saying. Um, I understand what you're saying. What I'm going to say is, um, I think. Um, when when a journey is about to set, like when when we're about to begin a journey, I think there's always a starting point, yeah. and we yeah. you, know, you tend to progress into that journey, right? If you don't just start from that point and just get to and just get to where you're going. It, it's going to be like process, like you go, you move, maybe like probably you move for two. If you are driving, if you're actually traveling by road, maybe you'll be traveling for eight hours or twelve hours or whatever yeah. hours you're traveling. So I think. And you're, you're asking, the question you're actually asking is, is actually not within what we just we planned tonight. I will get to that, please. I will get to that. Okay, because okay, what, I'm so, okay, is, okay. I, what I'm saying is, by the time we begin to talk about market structures and trends, okay, so it will make sense if I will begin to explain what kind of you, 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 what kind of you should be looking out for for reversal plus other confluences that will come with it. Like, so it has to actually tally with the trends and structures and all of that. So many things in place. So by the time you see that can do at a particular point, you know, where market is actually having a reaction, so maybe there's a structure you're seeing on the market and you're seeing, a, you're seeing this can do there, that's to tell you that, okay, market is about to reverse. 
Do you understand? So let's just for, for tonight, we're just talking about different candles and patterns right. that form. So by the time we get there, don't worry, we'll go deeper into that. You get to understand. I'll break everything down so you get to understand it. Okay, please. Okay, thank you. Right. You're welcome. So somebody said different time frames. Well, um, we will get to that, but let me just give you an overview. The uh, time frame depends on what kind of trader you want to be or what kind of trader you are already. So SCAPA, the highest time frame for SCAPA is one hour. You want to know what's going on in one hour, and then you execute, you go you narrow down to 30 or 15 minutes, and then you, you execute on five or one minute. But if you are a day trader, your overall time frame is 24 hour time frame, and you come to four hour time frame to see what's going on, your executions will be on one hour, and sometimes you go down to 15 minutes or so execute. So it all depends on what kind of time frame. All of the time frames are very significant. All of the time frames are actually very important. So it depends on what kind of trader you actually you are. Okay, so that's it depends on what kind of trader you are that will determine what time frame you need to work with and that will suit your style of trading. So that's that's about um, uh, time frame. Okay, I came in. Please, where can I get it? Of course, you get the recordings on our YouTube channel. Um, Crypto Cream will release that at some time. Please show areas of liquidity in the chart clearly and how to identify them. Liquidity areas on the chart are very, very crucial areas, very important. There are lots of areas on the chart. I think we are not there yet. So you have to be patient, please. When we get there, I will be showing you different types of liquidity and how to spot them. So you don't be the li li liquidity because if you are not able to spot liquidity in the market, then you are the liquidity because price will always sweep you. So, so please any can other question? allow Justice to ask his question. Thank you. Oh, oh. okay. Justice, yes. please, can yeah, you ask a question now? Okay. Good evening, everyone. Um, yeah, good thank evening. you for today's class. It has been an, an amazing class and uh, is, you know, uh, it's good being here. It's good, it's good to attend today's uh, class. So, but there's one, something I want to ask. If you look at that chart right now, like like you said, every candle right there is uh, is uh, like, if, for example, if you set your time frame at one hour time frame, that, that means that every candle right there is a one hour time frame. Now, you also talked about seeing dodgy and the rest of them and the engulfing and all that. So I want to understand there, uh, how can someone actually pick a market? Assuming you want to enter a market using the, uh, engulfing and all that seems very well that you know i'm looking at the the last part of that candlestick where the candle is still forming and i'm also looking at the areas where the candles are fully formed and all that so where can you actually pick a trade from all these candles uh mr justice though your, the question you are asking is well it's it's more an advanced questions and well let me just let me just show you let me show you something and whatever question you're asking is outside it's not within what we just discussed tonight but let me just answer that question okay now this is the, the reason why i said this question should be left to you when we are in in depth into um technical analysis because by, by that time we're looking at levels you understand we're looking at price reactions and levels we're drawing levels we're drawing trend lines we're drawing all of that Okay, because that would has uh, that will act as confidence. But let me just show you. Let me give you an instance now. Let me give you an instance because there are different scenarios I will be coming up with. It's not just about spotting the candlestick patterns alone. Other things we need to also work in and okay alongside whatever it is that you're spotting to give you that confidence and that confidence maybe to execute your trade. Do you understand? But let me give yeah. you an instance. Let me give you an instance here. So let's say, let me look for a very perfect instance and then show you. Let me give you an instance. Okay, now look at, look at this place here. Let me use my annotation. Look at this place here. So by right, this is what, this is a bullish engulfing candle, right? Yeah. Now, so I am on actually on one hour time frame and price, dive into this place now price price has been moving so i've been noticing i've been observing now what would give me the confidence to be able to execute my trade here now first of all 
when this guy, when this candle forms, okay, I'm not interested in entering the market. Let me let me expand this thing so that you guys will see what I'm talking about. Really. Now, you know, this guy, this guy is busy selling down, I mean, selling, candles are falling, yeah. falling. So at this point that this candle got to, I'm still not interested in looking at the market, except if I see what catches my words, my attention, okay? So let's now assume that price got here. Now, if you observe, you, you, saw, you saw this thing that I do here, you saw this rectangle, okay? Yeah. The, the, let's assume this is my support zone, okay? Now, when price got here, I'll be more interested. You see why I said it's not just about candlestick patterns alone. Do you get other things comes handy. Now, when price dive in into this place, I am more interested at looking at what price is going to do next because I consider this area, this place you're seeing, this thing I do here, and a very, very important area, an important area that, that catches my, my attention, okay? Now, when price dive in into this place, I became interested, I was, okay, I, I was now studying the charts. I was, I was looking at the chart to see what's going on. And I now spot this guy here. I spotted this, just these two guys. Okay? This is enough for me to know that, oh, this guy is about to, work, to reverse. And why do I say so? Because of this confidence. This is a confidence. Confidence means that you're, you're, you're trying to justify one point out of many other, out of many other points. Like you're looking at four things to qualify just one situation. Do you get you understand what I'm saying now? This is yeah. a level, this is a level price got to. And this level, when I drew my level, I knew it to be an important level. And I've been looking at to see that okay, I'll be, I'll be interested in seeing what price would do there when price gets there. So when price eventually gets here, the patterns that price forms for me, people always people always get carried away. Candlesticks, very in fact, is the most important. Now look at what candlestick did when this guy fell. With all of this galakara that this guy has been making and fell into this place. Just this small thing, this small guy, just this small guy. Eh? Just this. You guys remember the story between uh, Samson and Goliath? See how small Samson and um, David and Goliath. See how small David was. Just this two small thing was what reversed this market back, back up. You see? So that was why I said when someone was trying to ask, the reason why I said you should wait. Let us get deeper into all of these things. I will not, I will, I'm going to reveal all these things to you. you guys will see. You get, but by the time we get into deeper, by the time we've been able to go out to draw our support and resistance, our levels and everything, all of these candlesticks patterns that we are learning now will not begin to make a lot of sense. Do you understand? Now, look at what, look at, let me show you another thing. Look at this level that I do here. First of all, there was an history that price came into this level and did what? Reverse and then went back up. Isn't it? That same price came back there again. You guys can hear me. Price came back to that level again. So because of the previous reactions of price, I am still interested. I'm okay. When price gets here, I want to see what price. I'm going to see if price is going to react here or price is going to do what? It's going to break down. For the fact that when price got in here and gave me this candlestick pattern, I knew that price will not work. Price will not break down. Price would rather what? Price would rather go back. Up. This is more like a reversal pattern for me, because of the fact that this level was actually a very strong level. Okay, this level was a strong level, and price got here, and price reacts. Now, what I would do is once this pattern has finished for me, I will do two things. It is either I wait for price to retrace down, or I jump in immediately. Price has already formed. I jump in. I know there will be a little drawdown, but because of the fact that what? I already, I've already been able to spot a, a bearish, a, a bullish engulfing candle. So at this point, so as soon as this candle closes, I jump in on the next candle. I don't want to care. I, yes, it will take me a little bit drawdown. And of course, when you're jumping in, your stop loss should always be below the pattern. You understand? Price comes down and eventually price it was, price starts to go up and see how price moved. Imagine the moves from this place. Imagine that move from here. From this place. To this place. That's a long move for good. That's crazy. That's crazy move. That's a, lot, a whole lot of leaves. 
So these are the things that actually helps me on the daily chart and stuff. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. So any other question before we round up, please? Any other question before we round up? Mr. Carriots, Carriots, I'm gonna use your name, Gepal. Please unmute yourself and ask a your question. Uh, good evening, the name is Carol Ince. Good evening. Okay, Carol Ince, all right, thank you. Please, can you just um, be a, a bit audible? Okay, thank you for the lesson. Thank you for your time. Actually, this is the first time I'm joining this class. So I just want to know what is the name of the platform you are using to do illustration, everything? Okay, yes, we've talked about this in our previous class. We can go on our YouTube. Uh, this is Trading View, where I gave, I, we actually did um, an intensive study, a very, very intensive study on how to actually use this trading um um trading view it's called trading view this is a charting platform where i used to chat do all of my chatting so you can go on trading view and do all of this so go on our youtube you can actually request for our youtube link in the in a whatsapp group you go on our youtube you look for search for um tutorials on trading view you see just go you see there um i, I think i will drop that just indicate in the group it will drop the link for you it's a comprehensive uh, um video on how to properly use this platform everything explains in details and you know everything was actually broken down in details can you hear me mr carol Ince, can you hear me well any other question I can hear you. Thank you. I've heard you. You're welcome. All right. So, Mr. Justin, you still have something to say before we run up, please? I think that was right. the previous hand he raised. All right. So, I'd like to hand over to you, okay? Which is what we're calling today. Okay. Um, thank you, everyone, for being part of today's class. I keep encouraging us. Um, the knowledge and value that we share here are what you have to pay heavily outside to get but uh, for the sake of humanity and things that we do we also offer this value for free but unfortunately some of us will still not be part of this class however those that are able to make it for today i want to encourage you to try as much as possible to follow through this uh, topic technical analysis if you follow through the topic from the from today that we started to the end Trust me, in the group, you may not need to get, a, you may not need individual help to pick a trade because there is no trade that is better than the one you picked by yourself and trade. So most times people's trade go wrong, but when you pick your own trade, you are sure of what you are doing. So, and how you can be able to pick your trade is by get, getting the required values that you need to uh, be able to make trade decisions. So. We want to once again thank our leader Newton for the wonderful lecture. And I want to say um, we appreciate you for all you do and we also appreciate other of our leaders that has been supporting us. So I wish everyone a beautiful week. And if you have further questions, you can ask in our group, either in Crypto Queen Academy or Digital World Academy. So we have our groups where we can interact. So thank you once again, everyone, for joining our class today. We look forward to seeing you um, either during the week or by this time next week. Thank you, everyone. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night.